Okay, it's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm joined by Chris, Real Ale 140. Yep. And we've got a bottle of Le Tripel. As foreign sounds as that sounds, it's actually much more better said in my native accent, which is Le Triple, like that. Um, so this is a collaboration beer with the Bristol Beer Factory. Harbour Beers and Arbour Beers. Not to be confused with Arbour or Harbour, depending on which way round you're looking at it. Um, so you can kind of see all of their logos in there. Uh, so it's in this. It's really uh, excited. 8.5% ABV on this one. Mm. Gold cap. Love the label. Got to show you the label again. I, we just reviewed another beer, and I think I spent the whole time reviewing that beer looking at this label. But I mean, yeah, Bristol Beer Factory, brilliant brewer, and I've not had a beer from them yet where they've had a collaborative brew where something bad has happened. Um, Everything they've done, I think they did one with Dark Star. That was really, really oh, good. Oh, Dark Star! They did. It was called Southern Conspiracy. Yeah, fantastic beer. Wonderful stuff. So, what style of beer is this, Chris? So I'm uh, guessing this is a Belgian triple. Well, I'm not guessing. It says it's a Belgian triple, okay. um, but it's a hoppy one. It's got a hop, hop character, and that's one of the things Bristol Beer actually do very well. Um, is, is being able to stick hops and things. Fantastic. I'll have the yeast in mine. There oh, we go. There we go. It's right. No, it's good to have the comparison. So you can see. Oh, I'm switching around that way. I don't, I don't know that much difference. Maybe mine's slightly murkier, but a little bit more head. You know, a couple of fingers there. With a Belgium triple, the yeast generally goes in. Yeah. With the whole shebang, I think. So there we go. It's a. It's a. It's not clear. No. It's a golden. Coloured beer, I'd say. Yeah, there's nice plenty of carbonation now. I don't know. Yeah, nice that. carbonation. I got a one finger head. You probably got a two finger head there yeah. on yours. But, um, I can't wait anymore. I got to get my nose into this. Yeah. Cheers. Seven times. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! 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 Yeah, yeah all the yeah. attributes of a Belgium triple. This gives me that. Reminds me of the West Mal. That, that we both picked up at the same time, mm. but in different circumstances, down in Waitrose. But ah. combined, combined with that classic kind of Belgian triple, you know, I think in some of the best ones, you know, the, uh, is Duvel a triple? And, uh, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, things like that, combined with a big boom of hops at the end. Yeah. Now, I've, had yeah. The, I've had the big Duvel hoppy beer, and that was good. But oh. the hops in this, fresher, bigger, newer, American as well, I think. Yeah. Um, I'd say, you know, certainly New World, yeah. This is what we were looking at with my, uh, I brewed a beer with brains. We went with um, American hops, Belgium yeast, and it was called um, Grand Triple. This, this same style of beer, yeah. but it's got that kind of, well, it's just got that punch about it. It's just got that, it's a big hit of mango. That big hit of mango, yeah. Plus, Plus the yeast, it's got that great Belgian yeast. And kiwi fruits, and it depends on which part of the sniff you're in, doesn't it? Mm. There's so much there. going on. 8.5%, let's dig in. Cheers. Wait, wait. Oh. Wow. Stone the crows. <laughs> oh. Christ of the light. Whoa. Oh, it's just it's just going and going and going and going. It's still it's still peaking for me. It's still yeah, because you, you you get you get the the, the kind, of, kind of huge huge blonde kind of hits. It's still going. It's like and the hops coming in, kick your teeth in and bloody keep running around your face. Do you know when you got all that excitement from Roadrunner when he runs off the edge? Is it Roadrunner or the other one who runs off the edge of the cliff? Wally Coyote. Wally Coyote runs off the edge of the cliff and his legs are still going. Mm. And he's still up there and he's still, he's still kind of, you know, he's, he's running on air, if you like. This is still, I'm still out there. As the wild, I'm still out on the, on the fresh air. <laughs> it's that hoppy. And now it's Brilliant. starting to calm down, but that first initial taste, mm. wonderful, wonderful hop presence, really kind of big, bitter, mango, Kiwi fruit, kiwi fruit, yeah. grapefruit, really good, really sharp, really, really kind of, wow. Yeah. yeah. But underlying it all, underlying it all is that really yeasty kind of 
blonde Belgian character that has great and the ABV it's not it's not killing it because you can have beers like this and there's eight and a half percent and and then you get this hit of alcohol and and that takes away the pleasure. There is no removal of pleasure with this beer. With the beer being so good, I think what we need to do is break it down. So what you're tasting now, we need to talk about the mouthfeel. Mm. What do you think of the mouthfeel? So mouthfeel, it's it's less aggressive than a sizon. It's in in that kind of fluffy kind of yeah creamy it fluffs it around your mouth you know and, and not as in a fluffer that would be something else let's not talk about that um but yeah fluffs that fake flavor around your mouth so that's how you get all that lovely bulky yeastiness and that breadiness and that good yeah kind of flavor like that but as you're doing that as all that flavor is kicking around the next stage kicks in mm. and that's when the hops start going crazy and start hitting in the back of your palate yeah and you just kind of lift it up out of yourself. Oh, God, this is it's, God. it's a phenomenal beer. And I think it's that phenomenal because it's it's so fresh. Mm. I know people go on about freshness and I've kind of I've hit out of freshness in the past, but I do think, I do feel that if you do get a beer that's fresh out the brewery, which I think this is, it's new to Ali's, you're mm. always in there. Yeah. It's new to Ali. I think that yeah, it, it's just a very fresh beer. That we've kind of got lucky with here. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Uh, yeah, I think if the hops fade in this, you'd still be left with an amazing beer. Mm. But having them so fresh, and right on the right on the button, this and that. Absolutely, and you do get that. I think the next stage now would be will be to try and have a mouthful. Forget about the hops and try and talk about the Belgium aspect of the beer. Mm. That triple is certainly there. I I'm trying to think. It's it's closer to the the kind of blonde and the things I think. Uh, so Duvel springs to mind. Maybe like something along the lines of uh, not quite as strong as Parat, but you know you you kind of hitting beers along that way. They call them dragging. Um, but um, I, uh, the trouble is, it's all counteracted by the hop for me. So yeah, I love that that big yeasty kind of smack around the chops, I really yeah. do. But I don't think it would be the beer it was if it didn't have these two kind of counteracting forces. Yeah. It's, like, a, it's a balance, isn't it? Yeah. So it's, it, not about, it's not about malts and hops, it's about malt and yeast. Mm. Yeah. The balance. Yeah. yeah. I think it's great, it really is. You get a bit of white pepper. <coughs> Excuse me. You get that kind of, you do get that. I get, always pick up a citrusy lemon from, the, mm. from, from a Belgium yeah. double or a triple. And you, you do get that in there if you try and take the hops out of your brain, which is, is a big thing to do, it's a, yeah. it's a difficult thing to do, but you certainly get that underlying lemonness from, from them. From Absolutely. That. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's probably the one flavour that's alien to, to the hop character because the hop, this hop, I think, is sort of kicking in the mango and the kiwi and all yeah. that stuff. The lemon, yeah. the lemon is coming from somewhere else. Um, and that. What you left with right at the end, right at the end of all of this, is that kind of slightly, slightly cloying kind of yeah, yeah, right at the back of your throat where this is sticky and it's yummy and it's yeah, tasty and, and yeah, <clears throat> that, and it's bitter, yeah, and just fan, fucking tastic, absolutely <laughs> fan. No, 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 no. It's 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 a fantastic beer and mm. and uh, well, look at it. The head stayed down. The, the mm. look at that lacing around the glass. It's just. It's just pure quality. And I made my mind up on the rating, the first mouthful mm. I tasted. I'm going to go, I, I normally ask Chris first, yeah, yeah, beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's gone 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer. Mm. This beer, if you can see it, in, if you can find it, go out and find it. All mm. you reviewers, if you're watching, go and find it, go and review it. It's, it's phenomenal, it really is. Yeah, it really is. Um, when they say one of the best beers I've had this year, and I've reviewed them this year, and I've showcased, I, I've got a bottle of Pliny, a bottle of Hop Slam, and a bottle of Lagunita Sucks up there, and 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 I'm going to say, and that's gonna that, that 50 miles away beer, if Chris can grab hold of the camera, and 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 it's very rare we move the camera. I'm going to climb up here, and I'm going to go. This belongs. In the middle of it all, it belongs in the middle of it all. 
it, it's just that good. There you go. Oh. Okay. So ten out of ten. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll come over here. Yeah, just in the corner. <laughs> I haven't quite got this thing right. Thanks for watching us. Ten out of ten. Get out La Trap Ale from Bristol Beer Factory Arbor and Harbour Brewing Company collaboration. Thanks for Chris for joining me. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.